this is Natasha from YMO Homeschool, and today I wanted to give you a flip through of the Evan Moore Skill Sharpeners Geography Grade 3. I got this in a Timber Doodle package in previous years, well, I guess I should say just last year, I used Evan Moore Daily Geography, and I have to say right off the bat that these are so much better. I love them. So if you're looking for a geography workbook, I really recommend this Evan Moore Skill Sharpeners Geography, and it's available in pre-K through sixth grade. So the first thing I wanted to comment about is the actual paper. I love the way the paper feels. That probably sounds a little crazy, but it is nice, thick. This is one page, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but nice, thick paper, and it's completely in color, so I love that. All right, now I wanted to show you the contents. So the first four units are essential element, the world in special terms. And it covers things like globes, tornadoes, um, emergencies, evacuations, and transportation. Then the next section, units five and six, it covers places and regions. And so it's really talking about mountains and rivers. And then the next two units are physical systems, volcanoes, and biomes in the world. Then the next couple units are human systems. And so we see like moving and um, languages and ancient civilization and art. And then the next couple uh, units are on environment and society. So we have lakes, water, New Zealand, gold rush days, and then the last little section there is the uses of geography. So it's going to talk about expeditions and things like that. Okay, so then the pages are also um, easy to tear out. So that's another bonus. Um, and so it just goes right into the work after that. And so the student can just work through this however you really want them to. So sometimes there will be um, some questions to answer. flip through there and here's what I love about this book is the hands-on activities and I'm going to highlight some of these for you in this flip through so here they're making a model of a planet it tells them exactly what to do what supplies they'll need and all of that okay so now we're going into the next section here here's another hands-on activity mapping a tornado Having a practice drill. Another hands-on activity, a home evacuation plan. Another hands-on activity, a town's transportation map. Okay, another hands-on activity, draw a landscape of the Rocky Mountains. And this is actually my daughter did this page today. Um, she didn't get all the answers right, but <laughs> she'll be doing this next week. Another hands-on activity, a river scene. So you can see it's it's laid out so nicely the pictures are awesome hands-on activity you're gonna do a volcano another hands-on activity desert at your house I guess they're taking the temperature design a passport for another hands-on activity Here's where we're getting into languages. Um, Hands-on activity, learn how to say hello in different languages. Uncovering artifacts for another hands-on activity. Become a rock artist. Water your crops.
moving plates. My daughter is excited that when we get to here, she'll be getting some Snickers. <laughs> and there is also, where is it? Whoop. Panning for gold. We already did this with our not grass history, but we already, we saved the stuff so we could do it again. But anyways, so that is what this looks like. And there is, um, here's another hands-on activity, expedition supplies. And there is the answer key in the back in full color. They even put the answer key in full color. So um, that is what this looks like. I absolutely love it. My daughter loves it. This is fabulous. I highly, highly recommend this book.